counting double digit thousands. <laughs> Hi, Westlane. I'm Mr. Ramirez. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm Mr. Brewer. And we're here for another week of Last Week at Westlane. The first thing that we have up today is some footage of Open Gym. Who was cool enough to take that footage for us? I don't have any idea. I think it was John A. Thanks, John A. Let's oh, take nice. A look. I hope Open Gym was a blast. It looked like a lot of fun. Our next segment is about what's going on in our classrooms. What have you been up to, Mr. Brewer? You know, I'm new to INS. I'm not so sure what we've been doing, but I know Mr. Weidman's going to tell us. Awesome. Well, in sixth grade science, you know, we've been rocking space, so we are the planets of the solar system. All right, let's see what everyone else is doing. I'm here with Miss Randalls. Miss Randalls, what are you doing in class right now? We are actually getting uh, ready to start our natural disasters unit. Um, our kiddos are going to be practicing telling stories based on real events that have happened, such as the Titanic and famous hurricanes and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Mr. Urban. Mr. Urban, what are you doing in class right now? We are learning about objective summaries and about natural disasters and hurricanes. Sounds fun. It's great. I love it. I'm here with Mr. Weidman. Mr. Weidman, what are you doing in class right now? Well, my students have been playing the role of law school students instead of middle school students, and I'm playing the role of a mean law school professor, and I have been drilling them over the United States Constitution in preparation for their bar exam, which is actually their test over the Constitution. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Ms. May. What are you doing in class right now? Good morning, Wildcats. Um, actually, last night was a really special evening for us. We had our dinner and jazz performance, and the jazz band just did an amazing job. Um, in advance band, I'll pick one class what we're doing. We're getting ready for our Indiana State School Music Association contest, and that's on March 15th. So it's super exciting to learn these songs and learn them in a super detailed fashion. So I really love working with those kids. Have a good day, everybody. Yes, I'm here with Miss Davy. What are you doing in class right now? Right now we're working on volume of cylinders and volume of rectangular prisms and my students are taking a test next week. Good luck on your test! Lots of good stuff's going on here at Westlane. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, that was exciting. What's our next segment? We have Black History Month trivia with Erin mm. and... Kylie. Yes. Take it away, girls. Hey, I'm with Jay Sum. Who said the I have a good speech? Martin Luther King Jr. Good job. I'm with Courtney. Who was the first African American baseball player? Jackie Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here at Adam. What group launched the Freedom Rides in 1961? Um, um, Core. 
Ding, ding, ding. Got it correct. Hey guys, I'm here with Tia. Who was the first African American first lady of the U.S.? Um, I don't know. The correct answer was Michelle Obama. I'm with Casey. What woman led 300 slaves to freedom through the Underground World War? Um, I don't know. It was Harriet Tubman. Harriet, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I'm with Charles. Who was the first African American to serve on the Supreme Court Justice? I don't even know. It, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> it is Thurgood Marshall. I don't Hey guys, I'm here with Jaden. Who was the first African American black woman to create her own hair care products? I don't know who. It was Madam C.J. Walker. So to continue with Black History Month, we had some really cool stuff happening in our hallways this week. Yeah, the door decorating contest. They looked so good. Did you see you some? You guys did an awesome job. So let's yeah. check them out and see who won. <laughs> Those looked fantastic. Congrats to Miss Neff and Miss Cawthorn and you. And me, yes. Way to My go. advisory oh, is the kids. best advisory. Yeah, definitely congrats to all those kids who worked so hard on those doors. Good job, guys. Um, hey, Mr. Ramirez, are you reading any books right now? Yes, The Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan, one of my favorite astronomers. Oh, that sounds really cool. I mean, I'm really smart. I have been reading Twilight. <sighs> Mr. Brewer, that's so you. I'm getting really into it. It's really good. I love Demon vampires Lord. and glitter so much. Um, that kind of makes me think about our next segment, though. What is our next segment? So our next segment is sponsored by the English department, and it's Mrs. Themes seeing what other people have been reading. I'm excited. Miles is looking for the, just the right book to, to 
make them feel warm and fuzzy inside. I'm trying to find a book that'll make me cry because I can't cry <laughs> at movies or books ever. People say I'm heartless. But... All right, so what, what books are you guys reading lately? Or what kind of books do you like? Uh, to read? I'm reading uh, graphic novels because graphic novels are my favorite to read. Because like on other books, I can't read because I can't concentrate or or like imagine them in my head. And graphic novels are like easy to read for me. So like, so what was one of the ones you just finished? Uh, the ones that I just finished is El, uh, this one. Uh, I, I like it because like it I, El Difo. Oh. Um, I like it because like I can understand it and like the problems that she's going through. And, yeah. And what else? What are you reading? Uh, I'm reading a graphic novel as well. And right now it's uh, Amulet because it's from a, it's a new book that I, I didn't know had come out yet. And it was from uh, the first, it was connected to the first seven that I hadn't read in like two years. And I was excited to see for the eighth book to come out. So I'm sorry to read reading the series now. Yeah, that's what we really like about series. I always look for the next book to come out. Yeah. So, Tony, what are you reading? Uh, I don't really know what kind of book it is, but it's The Diary Won't Be Kid, because, I don't know, I just like how Greg has all these weird and funny adventures and stuff with his family. My favorite one out of all is, I think it's this one, The Third Meal, because they go to a dance in Valentine's or something like that, and he gets, he gets invited, but he doesn't really have a dance partner, so... He takes over for Rowley, his friend, and he takes his girlfriend, his, his, oh, his, a girlfriend? Rowley, yeah, he has a girlfriend <laughs> named a Abigail, oh. Abigail, <laughs> yeah, and, and, she has no chin, does <laughs> no, she does not have a chin, <laughs> hey, so, if you, how many of these in the series have you read? Would you say this looks like it's number seven? All, all except of them? for the getaway. Nice. First, I haven't really read that one because yeah. I'm trying to find it in the library, but I'm just finding like there's a new one coming out in April. Which one? A new one, and at the book fair that we're going to have uh, in March, you can pre-order it, and oh. then you can get okay. that the new one. All right. Out. All right. Okay. Is Jeff Kenny gonna write? I don't like that. <laughs> he does a good job at it, right? Right. I'm reading uh, Where the Crawfords Sing for my book club, my, um, and I'm just getting started with it. But the next book I have on deck is the second one in a series, just like you guys are reading, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. And I was really lucky that I got to see this man in person, this author, and he was funny, funny. Even though these books are kind of dark, but yeah. he is a very funny man. Um, he wrote like the Shaw... The, the Shaw was here and the Downsiders and so he's written a lot of them so you guys obviously like to read a lot and you know the more you read the better you get at it and the more you read the more vocabulary you learn and the better you score on tests so keep up the good work well Mr. Brewer we're running out of time but we might have time for one more segment. Oh, good. Of all the segments, what's your favorite? What would, what would you have it be if we had time for one more? I think it would be Deep Thoughts with Mr. Doss. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, if only we could get him here. I have an idea. What? Watch. What? Who? Who are you guys? Who? That's a uh, It's me, Mr. Brewer. Mr. Ramirez. You know, friends for life. Worked here for a really long time. Yeah. I was your secret Santa. <laughs> so, Mr. Ross, we have you here because we thought you might give us a deep thought to end our show today. Well, I don't believe that you're the real Mr. Ramirez and Mr. Brewer, but if you are, then you'll appreciate this deep thought, I guess. But I was thinking, if you're a security guard at a Samsung store, then does that make you... A guardian of the galaxy? Interesting. Where did Where'd he go? go? The smell's gone too. Oh, Weird. Good. Huh. Thought so it would never, never leave. Yeah. It was. Well, guys, it has been a pleasure talking to you today, but we have to go. Yeah. Good looking out, Wesley. <laughs>